will now we will now call the meeting to order. We will now call the meeting to order. Secretary Gunby will now do roll call. Vice President Abdul Salam. Vice President Abdul Salam present. Marietta Bapat. <laughs> Senator Benitez. Senator Bradford. Senator Brand. Senator Broom. Senator Brulison Williams. Senator Busin. Senator Clark. Senator Coakley. Senator Crawford. Director Delaney. Director of Academic Affairs, President. Senator Duclair. Kennesaw Senate Lee Dykes. Senator Alongway. Senator Ellington. Senator Gilmer. Treasurer Har. Senator Heller. Senator Henry. President Honeycutt. President Honeycutt present. Director Keller. Director of Internal Affairs present. Senator Lopez. Senator Cooper present. Director Mogis. Director of Physical Operations present. Senator Ramon. Senator Ray. Senator Rumbuck. Senator Smith. Senator Snell. Senator Steltzer. Director Sukumar. Senator Tor. Senator Veter. Senator Walker Holmes. Senator Watkins. Director Weiss. Senator Whitehead. Uh, real quick, friendly reminder, no one except Emily is allowed to have a laptop out right now. Uh, this should be a pretty brief meeting, so it'll, it'll be fine. Y'all can do your office reports once we're done. <laughs> is there a motion on the floor to approve the 49th meeting minutes? Senator Busen, someone could hand him the mic. I motion to approve the 49th meeting minutes. Is there a second on the floor? Seconded by Senator Duclair. All in favor? All, all opposed? Any abstentions? This does pass. We now have a guest from KSU Miracle who has been kind enough to come out to talk about his organization. So we'll hear from him. Yeah, you can just take that one. It's on? Sweet. Hello. Oh my God, that's what I sound like. <clears throat> hey guys, uh, my name is Arslan Ali and I'm the Campus Relations Director for KSU Miracle. I'll keep this short, it's Halloween, so I wanna get you guys out of here. But uh, real quick, just a survey of the room. Who here, who here has heard of KSU Miracle? Okay, two years ago I'd ask and I'd hear crickets. But that's awesome. Uh, can someone tell me an idea of what they think KSU Miracle is? Right here, man. It's like helping the kids and mostly in the community. Okay, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so KSU Miracle is a student-run philanthropic organization that benefits Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. And yes, what we do is we raise money, we spread awareness, and have events year-long leading up to our big event, Dance Marathon. Have any of you heard of Dance Marathon by chance? Awesome, I love this. Okay, so Dance Marathon is a 12-hour event. I know you hear that and you're like, oh my gosh, that's a long event. 
uh, where more than a thousand students get together, we play games, we have fun, but more importantly, I mean, as you all know, we're there for the kids. We have our miracle kids and our miracle families that get on stage and they share their stories of hard fought battles they experienced at CHOA and they, they talk about their, their long rehabilitation processes and all that and their hard fought battles. They're in hospital beds for weeks, months, even years, but then you see them on stage dancing and having just the best time of their life and it gives me chills every time. This is my fourth year doing this and I still get still get this feeling right here every time I talk about it. But honestly, this is, a, this is an experience I want anyone to miss out on. And uh, I got with Carly, and I was like, how do we get everyone on SGA to sign up? She's like, get a QR code. I was like, how do I do that? And then so with the power of Google, I generated a QR code. And on this, right now, we have going a $10 off discount code to sign up for Dance Marathon under SGA. The uh, code is all caps, OWLS by 90. If you guys are into the football program, it's into that. I'm not really cultured, so I don't understand what that means. But um, yeah, that is our $10 off discount code. That's the biggest discount code we've had um, in a while. And um, what was I about to say? Yeah, um, last year you guys had 25 members signed up and raised about $875. This year, um, I, haven't, I haven't been able to speak to you all yet, so it's about four members, but you guys have 375 around that amount. So that's honestly amazing with the work of four. Imagine what you all can do together. So if you guys have the time, you want to pull out your phone, you can take a picture. It'll take you straight to the link and go through, sign up under the team, team page of SGA. And that's about it. Thank you guys for giving me the time of day. And uh, hope to see you guys at Dance Marathon. We usually do questions and answers, if that's all yeah. right with you. Yeah, that's fine. Any questions? Uh, Director Keller? Hi, um, Director Keller. So your QR code is not working. Um, so could you please provide ah. the website again that okay. we can log into and register? Yes. Okay, thank, thank you. you. So the website is ksumiracle.org. I will post this in the group. Meeting slash as join. Well. Okay, ksumiracle.org slash join. Yes. And the code is? Owls by 90. All caps. No space. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Are there any questions from the audience? Senator Holmes. When's the deadline? So the code that's $10 off expires November 6th. So it's usually a $25 registration, but now from, from now until November 6th is $15, which is a steal. We're college kids, we're trying to, we're trying to hustle as much as we can. Yes. Uh, Treasurer Har. Treasurer Har, um, quick question. So the money that's kind of collected, <clears throat> the money that's collected through Dance Marathon, uh, at what point is there kind of like a big reveal or something of that nature where you kind of announce everything that's been raised potentially? Yes, yes, glad you asked. So at the event of Dance Marathon, that's pretty much the celebration of our hard work year long. And at 11.59, we all get together, we huddle up, we're, we're exhausted, we're just ready to see the final number, and we reveal the total amount, the whole campus is raised, and it's honestly a roller coaster of emotions. What I should have done is I should have prepared a video uh, to show you everyone's reactions from years past. But I'm gonna send that to Carly and she can put it in the group message and like I want everyone to be a part of that feeling. Uh, I know it sounds biased coming from me, but it's honestly just the most rewarding organization ever. So I just want everyone to be a part of it. Any more? Any other questions? Well, thank you so much, not just for coming out, but for what your organization does. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you guys. Happy Halloween. <laughs> We will now relatively quickly go through our officer reports, starting with Director Weiss. Director of External Affairs. So it's not going to be quick for me, but you know. Um, so I met with Chief Stevens, um, and they have finally uh, picked a new captain. So that's something. And they also reinstated a permanent chief legal counsel for the university itself. So that's good too. Um, there's also new officers coming through in training, and they are 
um, going to be testing out new patrol methods pretty soon within the next month. So um, hopefully there should be a difference in how effective they are with patrolling the area. Um, I also finalized uh, the logistics and the planning for Coffee with Cops. So everyone get out calendars, whatever, pens, write it down, um, and I'll give it to Macy to put on the calendar. But Coffee with Cops, which is me and my committee's event, will be held Thursday, November 15th from 10 to 11.30 on Zone 5 of the Green, which is the front left when you're exiting um, the Student Center. So. I'll have more details coming with that, um, but everything's pretty much done, So, I'll, but I'll let you know when it's closer to the date and I'll remind you. Um, I also went to the Presidential Commission on, Wraith, on Racial and Ethnic Diversity meeting uh, with Senator Benitez, who's not here tonight. Um, a lot of stuff was discussed. I already put it in the group meeting, so most of you have already seen it, hopefully. Um, but just the highlights, um, Dr. Whitten was there. And even though there was a lot of stuff discussed, she couldn't commit to the majority of it because of the nature of these things. But she did say that she would focus on um, hiring more faculty to match, minority faculty to match the growing student demographics. So that's something. Um, and I fully expect her to do other stuff too. Uh, she looked very interested and concerned with what was being brought up. So I would take it seriously. Um, after that, Vanessa and I reached out to one of the leaders of a student group presented. Her name's Alexa Vaca. I don't know if any of you know her, you probably do. Uh, she's a part of Taken, the Take a Knee movement and KS United. Um, so and I've, I've met her a couple times, but we reached out to her about coming to a meeting. So within the next month, she and her student group will be coming and presenting their list of concerns. Um, hopefully we could all check and try to make an effort to address some of these concerns and get KC to where it needs to be. Um, also, Myself, uh, Vincent, and Ryan met with Dean Anderson of the College of Science and Math uh, for more information regarding the grade distribution um, project that we've been working on. So unfortunately, we won't have those records back this semester. Um, they're still limited in what we can say, but we will try to get them back next semester. I know Matthew and us have been working on it, and we'll have a better plan going forward. But um, it all depends on the, new, on the new provost, so we'll see what happens. Um, there's also a new Vice President of Government Relations uh, replacing Michael Parkerson. They, she was announced in the Sentinel. Her name is Julia Ayers. Um, Carly and I will look to meet with her pretty soon, uh, along with Alex McGee. So we'll give you details on that once it happens. Um, in addition to the event with coffee and, for Coffee and Cops, after the, the Presidential Commission on Racial and Diversity meeting, um, Vanessa and I started playing another event for next semester. And for this event, we're going to be bringing awareness to more discrimination on campus, hopefully. So we're looking to involve all the minority student groups, have a public discussion, bring faculty, and address, have an open, comprehensive discussion on the issues, and hopefully we can solve some of it. So we've already started planning, but we'll have details, more details by the end of the month. Um, I'll give you an idea at the next meeting. Um, there's also a Cobb County Precinct 1 discussion meeting on Friday. So I will be going to that, and I'll also be discussing plans for next semester. Probably going to have a student forum with them uh, on campus. And then the last thing, uh, election day is the 6th. Uh, early voting has already been going on, as you all know. Uh, if you haven't voted, please vote. Um, if you're not going to be able to do early voting, vote on the 6th. Uh, if you need your polling location, go to our website. Go to vote.consolidate.edu. Either one has the information, or contact me or any of my committee members. So end the report. Director Delaney. Hey guys, so just a reminder, Feel for Finals is November 28th. I don't remember the time off the top of my head, I apologize. But November 28th, you guys have to email me at least 24 hours in advance. If you don't email, it will not count. End of report. Director Keller. Director Keller. Well, um, I am very excited to be with you on this Halloween. Um, so who's enjoying the frozen yogurt? Okay, cool. So to begin my report, um, this is something that I want to start implementing to bring kind of some positivity. I know we're all here on Halloween, so I wanted to give you a little treat for being here. Um, in the past week, I met with our academic advisor, Ron, who's the, also the assistant dean of students. I sat down with him and learned more about the dean of students strategic plan and how the internal affairs committee could align um, along with that. So speaking of that, my committee met um, earlier this week 
it's been a long week. I think it was this week. Um, and we had a wonderful and very productive meeting. I'm so thankful to all of you that came and shared ideas. Um, one of those being something that I would like to implement by Friday. I've asked everyone if they're interested in having a role in the committee. So everything from we had an event planning role. We had, I'm looking for a possible assistant, um, someone who was interested in taking over this position when I graduate in May. Um, and my objective for that idea was to get you all, those of you in my committee, invested in what you're doing. So if anyone is not in my committee and wants to join, um, now would be the time to do it. We have a lot of really fun things planned. Um, we're trying to think outside the box for our engagement. Um, I know today I saw something I really loved from my Coles senators where they were going around passing out candy as part of their campus engagement, obviously for Halloween, which I was thankful of that creativity. That's what we're looking for in this committee. We talked about having a tabling event before the um, girls and boys basketball game next week, week after. Um, we're going to paint up and get excited for the game. That's part of what we're trying to do is create enthusiasm. So um, those applications I put in the group me for those of you who are in it are due to me by Friday. Um, please, I'm open to any position that you want to create. This is your committee. This is your student government. So let's make it beautiful. Cool. So a couple things I wanted to highlight that I'm sure you guys got in your emails as well. On November 30th, um, a counselor from Barber Middle School reached out to SGA wanting um, more, I guess, students who are highly involved on campus to come visit the middle school and talk to the kids about their experience in college. This is something that's very close to my heart because why not shape the minds of the future, right? So um, I, if, those, if any of you have questions regarding that event, please come let me know. I will be there. Um, also, we got another um, invitation to the provost screening where um, that is November 5th, 7th, 12th, and 14th. If you're interested in learning more about those events and what it's gonna look like, I think it'd be an amazing opportunity to sit down and talk with those people who are interviewing to be our next provost. Um, again, if you are interested in learning any more about our committee, what we've got going on, and if you have any ideas for me, please come talk to me afterwards and enjoy your frozen yogurt. End of report. I'm Director Mogas. So, honestly, I don't have an officer's report. Um, I sent out some disciplinary paperwork for you guys. Um, governance committee, I need to meet with you after. So it's gonna be like a quick, like two second meeting um, in the report. Director Sukumar, Director of Communications, uh, just two quick things. First off, all the officer reports were posted online. So just go and check and see if yours was posted. If it wasn't, that means in some way I didn't receive it or maybe when I was looking through the system, I just didn't see it. So if, if you look online and you don't see yours, you can just email it to me or email it to one of your Senate leads and I'll post it online. Second thing, just as usual, as I say every meeting, if you have any cool ideas for social media that have been brewing up and you just wanna talk to me about it, you can talk to me after the meeting or just message me on GroupMe. End of report. Senator Lee Bapat. Senator Lee Bapat. Uh, officer reports are due, like, now. So do them. Um, yeah, happy Halloween. Senator Lee, thanks. Can I saw Senator Lee? Hey, guys. To echo that, officer reports are due tonight on Owl Life. Please, please, please turn them in. Um, if you are still having problems with Owl Life, you don't know where to access that form, just let me know and I can help you out. Also, real quick, after the meeting, I need to see Bree, Renard, Derek, Carlos, and Jaren. End of point. Treasurer Har. <laughs> Treasurer Har, hey guys. Uh, so I had a meeting with um, Director Keller earlier this week in regards to uh, utilizing our budget most efficiently. Uh, as some of you might remember from the presentation I gave at the last meeting, um, <laughs> we have a pretty big programming and services budget um, that's meant to be utilized by you guys for your senator events. However, only five of you have requested money uh, this semester for your senate events. 
Um, you know, while it's not a bad thing that you're not using the money, it is available to us. Um, and it is money that you have put into um, through your student activities fee. And we want to make sure that we're using that to the best of our abilities to give it back to the students. Um, so we hope to ha have some uh, good events utilizing that money uh, soon. Thank you. Secretary Gumby. Secretary Gumby. Uh, first of all, can we all give uh, Director Keller a huge hand for like the frozen yogurt that she brought up tonight? Thank you so much. Um, so can we all agree to take better care of the office? Thanks. That's it. End of report. Vice President Abdul Salam. Good evening, everyone. So uh, as you all know, with the updates of the past week, uh, uh, President Hanikan and I uh, went to President uh, Dr. Whitten, the president of the university, and uh, kind of had a good conversation with her. Uh, the intricate details will be given by uh, President Hanikan, but I'll be going over the general things that she, what we talked about. Uh, our topic, uh, or the most uh, majorly talked about topic during the discussion was about the SGA budgets and stuff. So uh, we kind of showed her the problem that existed and how our budgets have been uh, getting into a steep decline for the past few years. And she agreed to look on it, but right not right now, but uh, at least in the beginning of the spring. So uh, we hope that by the end of this term, we'll be able to do something about it. She said uh, there might be some uh, kind of uh, lack of efficiency in the process that might be causing this, or there might be some other main reasons, but she needs to look into it. But uh, the good thing is that she agreed uh, to kind of help us on it. But uh, so I'm a bit optimistic on that, but uh, we have another meeting with her on November 27th, which is like right before the next, uh, not the next, but the meeting right after the next meeting. So that is the last meeting, actually, November 28th. So uh, we'll be having a meeting on 27th. So if you have any questions about that, uh, please uh, feel free to send it. And you have a lot of time from now till then. So if you see any big major problems, please uh, feel free to send that to us, too. And uh, another thing is, uh, uh, if you were in the past SGA uh, uh, year, I mean, uh, you will be, you know that I was working on a big SGA website and stuff. Uh, that was my dream project for SGA. But unfortunately, due to a lot of uh, bureaucratic reasons, uh, it got shut down. And uh, I'm, I've actually raised this uh, issue again with Dr. Whitten, and she said that was a good idea. So I'm kind of pushing forward with it. Uh, currently, uh, I'll be planning to set up a meeting with the UITS because those are the ones who, I mean, they are the ones who are actually providing the platform for that. But last time when I went to them with a proposal with the team, uh, I couldn't get a positive result from them, but this time around, I'm positive that we might be able to push something around. But uh, before that, I need to like see if my old team is still available or if I need to form a new team to kind of get it done because this is a big undertaking. And uh, if we are successful, a lot of the uh, you know connection problems that we have, uh, distance, uh, as you all, I mean, I heard a lot of complaints about how uh, we have disconnect between the executive board, uh, the uh, Kennesaw Senate lead, uh, the Kennesaw senators, and the Merida senators. If this project is successful, I guess a lot of the problems that arise from these kind of uh, disconnect can be eradicated. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, by I mean, I'll be uh, keeping you posted most probably by uh, the next meeting. Uh, if not, uh, then the last meeting of the semester. Oh, and report. Thank you, President Honeycutt. So as Masood stated, we did talk to Dr. Whitten. She did. Uh, she didn't necessarily agree to a specific solution, but she did say that she was planning on taking a serious look, as Masood touched on, not just on the student funding of organizations, but perceived transparency and things like how most of the offices of, of the upstairs in the student center are now faculty and staff offices. So I did directly bring that up with her. And a couple of y'all sent questions, with the exception of one, which was more of a personal inquiry, which I answered already. But uh, Senator Ray asked more or less, um, and this is like Cliff Notes version of the questions. Uh, he asked if there was any way to get Bob's for transportation to the upcoming game at SunTrust. And her answer was basically, yeah, we can probably do that and that they're taking a serious look at it. Um, Senator Holmes asked, um, basically was talking about how what we can do as SGA to get closer ties to our trustees and our alumni for things like fundraising and all that. And Dr. Whitten recommended or told us that she's currently searching for a vice president of advancement who would deal with things like that. 
So once um, that's set in stone, she will be glad to help us build that connection so we can move forward on that. Senator Coakley, um, I don't remember what his question was actually, but um, whatever it was, uh, Senator, uh, she recommended that we reach out to the chief legal counsel and I can meet with you at some point after the meeting and I'll put something in the group me so y'all know what we're talking about. It's not a secret, I'm just dumb. Uh, let's see. And Senator Henry asked, if the rec fees stay the same, why are the hours only being reduced on the Marietta campus? Um, she basically said, Dr. Casey White, our Vice President for Student Affairs, is trying to find that out right now. So she seemed aware of the issue, and she seemed to agree that that seems a little silly since, to my knowledge, Marietta students are paying less fees <laughs> than Kennesaw students. Other than that, the big, big thing is with the Provost Search Committee, um, I was a part of that, I was part of the process, now we have our four finalists, I'm very happy with how things turned out. And we have a very unique opportunity, which Carly touched on, to meet as SGA with each of these four finalists, and those dates are November 5th, November 7th, November 12th, and November 14th, 30 minute sessions from 9.30 to 10 a.m. in Convocation Center 2007. Convocation Center 2007, uh, 9.30 to 10 a.m., the 5th, the 7th, the 12th, the 14th, all of which are Monday and Wednesdays respectively. If you're interested or you're going, I need to know ASAP. For those of you who were here when we met up with Dr. Whitten right before she became president, I think you would agree with me that is a very productive process. The new provost is going to be in charge of basically all the academic issues, scheduling, advising, all these things that we've been talking about for a very long time. So this is super important. And I would love to see great diversity of Kennesaw, Marietta, academic and non-academic senators. Uh, but email me like as immediately as possible. Other than that, with um, in preparation for our election, Senator Ellington and I spoke briefly. We're going to probably have an actual plan coming up soon, but about making some reforms, considering um, creating ticket voting to prevent a split between the president and the vice president, which is something that nearly happened in the previous election. And while I got along with everyone on the other side of the ticket, those of you who have been here longer know how nasty some these things can sometimes get. And we're also considering, after talking to Masood and some other people, creating two vice presidents, one for each campus, because Masood here is the highest ranking SGA member from Marietta ever, and we want to take steps to ensure that um, there's always great representation on the executive board for Marietta. These are concepts, we're gonna talk about them, we're gonna hammer it out, it would require constitutional amendments, but we really want y'all, especially the Marietta senators, since y'all typically are less represented on the e-board, to think hard about this because this could be a potential solution. Other than that, unless there's any questions, I'll be at the end of my report, and we will move on to open forum. This is the time for us to discuss SJ-related events and um, incidents. Is there anything anyone in the exec board or the Senate wants to discuss? Uh, we'll start with, I believe there's a microphone. If you could pass it to Senator Buse, and then we'll hear from Senator Smith. Hello, everyone. On Monday the 12th and on Tuesday the 13th of November, I am meeting with the executive housing department, all the professional staff, and we are going to walk around all the outdoor communities at 6.30 p.m. at nighttime in order to determine how safe they are, how safe residents feel, uh, where the lights are turned on, where they're working, where the emergency buttons are on, where they're working. Um, if you're interested, you can come and join us because if you live on campus and there's a spot that looks kind of sketch and you want to make sure it's pointed out, just let me know. It's at 6.30 on Monday the 12th and 6.30 on Tuesday the 13th. On Monday, we're doing the Marietta Outdoor Community and on the 13th, we're doing the uh, North Side and South Side Outdoor Communities on Kennesaw. End of report. Oh. Sen Senator Ellington, um, quick question. Is this for the residential areas or just all around campus, including like the bus Just stops? the residential areas, because okay. it's with the housing department. Okay, all right, thank you. If there's no other questions, Senator Smith? Senator Smith, uh, I'll keep it real quick. So we have started the search committee for the Dean of Humanities and Social Sciences. Uh, I can't actually give you much information, even if it does go on, but I can tell you the um, process should be completed by next March. Uh, things will be open and available to the public, hopefully late February, um, but I'll keep you as updated as I can. But what I can say is that I would really, really like you guys to go meet the provost because they have a large role in choosing deans, and it's really important to us like right now because we're having a new dean, but think about your department later on. You're really going to want to know the provost and how that works. 
And I did finally figure out what happened to the door in social sciences. It was the hurricane. So, and super, super side note, your spoons are recyclable, so please don't throw them away. Senator Coakley. Uh, Senator Coakley, I want to make it known that I'm also on a committee that's going to be selecting the dean for the College of Engineering and Engineering Technology. I have a survey meant for students within that college, so if you want to take that survey, please let me know. I also had a meeting last week with the dean of libraries. I was very productive regarding hours of the Marietta Campus Library. There are going to be some good things happening next semester. Keep your eyes open for that. I have a question also. Um, so right now the wallpaper for the, like basically every desktop on campus is like ksusga.com. That's not our current website. I want to know who's the point of contact for that. Thank you. Does anyone know off the top of their head? If not, we're going to find out pretty quickly. But if anyone knows off the top of their head the PLC for that, that'd be great. Like all of the computers and things like that are all like, they all go through UITS. Like nothing can be posted okay. through, like, without going through them. So it's probably the most central place you can go to start at least. Thank you very much, Senator DeClaire. Are there any other, anything else? Uh, yes. Senator Watkins. Okay. Um, hi, y'all. So, Hudat Hunger is on Saturday, um, so it's not too late to continue donating. Um, so, I know there are a couple organizations who are collecting donations for Hudat Hunger. Um, if you want to donate cereal, you can bring it to the Honors College Lounge. Or if you just want to donate any other non-perishable items, you can give them to any student athletes you know. Senator Burleson, will we? Hello, everyone. Um, I'm the senator for the Wellstar College of Health and Human Services, but I also am a student assistant for the Department of Culinary Sustainability and Hospitality. Um, and this department is up for elimination. Um, they were informed yesterday by Dean Dispro that the interim provost, Dr. Noble, decided to eliminate the whole program. And um, they submitted a revised curriculum and a new department name that was approved by the department curriculum committee, the director, and the college curriculum committee. However, when it got to the interim provost, he decided to eliminate it. Um, the person that did the revisions for the curriculum said that the curriculum aligned with Cornell, Michigan State, Penn State, and the University of Houston. And they claimed that the degree was not relevant and reliable. So the department is up for elimination, and I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, I will be talking to Vanessa about it, but she wasn't here. So I just wanted to throw that out on the table. That's all. Thank you for bringing that up, Senator. Is there anything else for open forum? Uh, one thing I want to bring up that I forgot to mention in my officer report today, I walked across the street from my dorm and met with campus services. Um, there was a fight outside the, or inside the commons, as some of y'all know. And yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, and we discussed uh, a couple of things. We actually have the representative who spoke with me from dining in the back, if you want to speak to her, she's absolutely wonderful, um, about not just addressing issues like that, but as some of you may have noticed, there's been a lot of people lately outside the commons kind of soliciting for swipes. And while I found them kind of more annoying than anything, there have been reports of people kind of being intimidated and swiping other people in. Not just commons, I'm sure it's happening in Stingers as well, no doubt. But so they're going to take initiatives such as, um, you know, if a, if a guest is a student, having them type, tap in so we know who all's in there, um, asking to, to check IDs or sign in if you're a guest. Um, I was assured that there'd be nothing that would keep people from coming in because, you know, it's a, the Commons is such a great dining hall that it's pretty common for people to bring guests from outside of the institution in. But they are going to take steps to um, really ensure the safety of the students and make sure stuff like that doesn't happen again. Um, if you have any specific questions, she was kind enough to come to, to the meeting and I'm sure she can talk to you about it and I would be glad to talk to you about it as well. If, is there anything for open forum, any questions, comments, or concerns from any of the interns or guests in the audience? Okay, if that is the case, is there anything for new business? Beautiful. We will now go into announcements. This is where we will all talk about uh, stuff that isn't directly related to SGA. Is there anything for announcements? Uh, Senator Clark. Hello. 
Um, I just remember you saying something about strengthening the relationships with the trustees. I'm actually a part of their mentoring program here, and Chet Austin is my um, trustee mentor, and Austin Residence was named after him, so he's one of the major donors. So if y'all need his contact information, I have it. Thank you for putting that out there. Is there anything else for announcements? Senator Brand? Thank you. Uh, this is a little bit out of the purview of SGA, but um, uh, Senator Gilmer and I were passing out candy earlier today, and we met with some of the faculty. We went to their offices to give them candy. And one faculty member in, in particular took a special interest in seeing what we could do about um, the email system, because as it is, if you send an email through D2L, it automatically changes the, you know, the, the title to view.kennesaw.edu. And so if you hit reply, a lot of emails just get thrown into the trash um, when you try to respond and you just don't think about removing that view. Um, so we're going to be trying to talk to some people uh, in the university system of Georgia, because it's not a KSU-specific issue, um, to see if we can change that to fix the issue. So. Uh, Senator Tor, and then we'll do Senator Smith. Senator Smith? Uh, your new career planning and development advisors for uh, College of Humanities and Social Sciences, University College, Engineering and Engineering Technology, and College of Business are all now taking appointments. So tell your constituents. Make sure not to turn the mics on and off when you're passing them around. Makes it easier on us and the wonderful sound people who come out every two weeks. Is there anything else for announcements? Well, um, I guess I just have two brief announcements. The Bagwell Center for, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you, if you have anything, I can. OK. <laughs> Thanks, Jada. Um, the Bagwell Center for the Study of uh, Markets um, continues to do great events. The other day, I got to sit down and eat lunch with uh, Art Laffer, if you've ever taken an econ class and heard of the Laffer Curve, that's him. He was chief counsel um, for economics uh, for President Reagan, and he's had personal working relationships with every president from Richard Nixon to Donald Trump. So regardless how you feel about people like that, there's some really great and unique opportunities if you are even remotely interested in econ that are open to the public. If you have any questions about that, reach out. Other than that, unless there's anything else, I hope you all have a fun, wonderful Halloween. <laughs> Stay safe, especially with driving, make good choices. I want to see each and every one of you back here on November 14th. With that said, is there a motion on the floor to adjourn the 50th general body meeting? Senator Duclair. Seconded by Director Weiss. All in favor? All opposed? This does pass. Happy Halloween.